हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन फॉरेस्ट एक्ट 1927 अंडर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट इन फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव सीन द प्रीलिमिनरी डेटा और सम बेसिक टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू दिस एक्ट एंड द रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट द प्रोसीजर इन्वॉल्व इन रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट so remaining chapters we are going to see in second part so we are continuing this act with chapter 3 which is related to off village forest so this part involves the remaining sections which are continue from 28 number so section 28 is related to formation of village forest the state government may assign to any village community the rights of government to or over any land which has been constitute a reserve forest and may cancel such assignment all forests so assigned shall be called as village forest the state government may make a rule for regulating the management of village forest prescribing the conditions under which the community to which any such assignment is made may be provided with timber or other forest produce or pastures and their duties for the protections and improvement of such a forest all the provisions of this act relating to the reserve forest shall apply to village forest so all these reserve forest facilities are applying to village forest next is chapter 4 which related to the protected forest what how it is differ from the reserve and village forest protected forest means the state government may by notification in the official gazette declare the provisions of this chapter applicable to any forest land or waste land which is not included in reserve forest but which is the property of government the forest land and waste land comprised in any such notification shall be called called a protected forest which are different from the reserve forest or which are not considered under the category of reserve forest power to issue the notification reserving trees publications of translation of such notification in neighborhoods power to make rules for protected forest the state government may make a rules to regulate the following matters namely the cutting sawing conversation and removal of trees and timber and the collection manufacturer and removal of forest produce from protected forest the granting of license to the inhabitation of town and village in the vicinity of protected forest to take trees timber or other forest produce for their own use and the production and return of such license by such person the granting of license to persons felling or removing trees or timber or other forest produce from such a forest for the purpose of trade and the production that means uh, what we are differentiating uh, the actions that takes place uh, to the uh, under the reserve forest area and under the protected forest area so if that person which has given the license regarding uh, the, regarding the actions uh, he want to or she want to doing as mentioned in this chapter he if he has license then he will do uh, such actions or uh, collecting storing uh, some produce from the forest like timber and extra manufacturing processes and all other things he can do if he has got a license the payment if any to be made by the person mentioned in clause p and for permissions to cut such trees or to collect and remove such timber or other forest produce so that person has to make a payment for that the other payment which related to if any to be made by them in respect of such trees timber and produce and the place where such a payment shall be made the examination of forest produce passing out of such forest the clearing and breaking up of land for cultivation or other purposes in such forest the protection from fire of timber laying in such forest and of trees reserved under section 
and the cutting of grass and pasturing also uh, of cattle also is the part of this forest that is pro protecting forest again the hunting shooting fishing poisoning water and setting traps or snares in such forest and the killing or catching of elephant in such forest in area the protection and management of any portion of a forest closed under section 30 again penalties for act in contravention of notification under section 30 or of rules under section 32 infringement of these rules in punishable with imprisonment for terms which may extend it to 6 months or with fine which may extend it to 500 rupees or with both nothing in this chapter to prohibit act done in certain cases nothing in this chapter shall be deemed to prohibit any act done with the permission in writing of the forest officer so this all of actions are involved in this chapter that is chapter 4 which is related to the village village forest and the protecting forest so the remaining chapters we are going to see in next part that is 3 thank you